China is threatening to retaliate against America after we, America, ordered the Chinese consulate to close in Houston, Texas. The State Department says this move is to help protect American intellectual property. James Carafano is the Vice President for Foreign Policy at the Heritage Foundation. James, make the link for me, please, between closing a consulate and protecting intellectual property. So we don't have all the all the dots here, but, but what we think is happening here is this coincides with the indictment of two Chinese uh, individuals who were accused of espionage trying to steal a wide range of intellectual property, including vaccine research. And I think the, the belief is, is that case is directly tied to the consulate as a base for these intelligence operations. Now, that's nothing new that governments use their diplomatic facilities for intelligence. But it's also true that, you know, when you cross the line and you do something egregious, that the, the country that hosts you, shutting that down is completely legit. Do you regard that as an extreme move to order three days from now, you close that consulate and you get out? Is that extreme? No, I don't think it's extreme. I think this is a, a, an appropriate action. You know, will the Chinese respond? Yeah, they might close the consulate. Quite honestly, the intelligence collection capability that the Chinese are going to lose in the consulate in Houston, that, that's, I'm sure, not going to compare to anything like we're going to lose by closing a consulate in China. Sure looks like uh, Cold War, doesn't it? Serious Cold War. You know, I'm glad you brought that up. And, and I... The Cold War analogy works from the perspective that this is a long-term competition, just like the United States and the Soviet Union was a real competition. This is. But on the other hand, the Cold War analogy doesn't work because it's a different world. The, the manner of the competition is different. The nature of our power is different. Our alliances are different. So, you know, yeah, it's a competition and it's a tough one. But we need terminology and techniques and strategies that are appropriate for the 21st century not the, the 20th century. Fascinating stuff. James Carafano, thank you very much for being with us. Always appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Thank you for having me.